Okay, so move right along on after my joke yesterday. Let's get back to Falcon Winter Soldier with episode three, Power Broker, which not only sees he's the reappearances of Daniel Brugler Zemo as well as as Emily Van Camp as as Agent Carter or thirteen. I mean, some of you may have heard heard some rumors, seen some leaks, leaks about the show, even last year before everything happened. I can now assure you, those rumors were true, as were the leaks. Introduces a location from the X-Men of Madripoor. I'm not going to get into too many spoilers this time around, but as I pointed out before, or not only the do this show on one division deal with a who with a fallout from the end game in different ways. They also set up the future in different ways as well, so yeah. And also you may have noticed one of my Mandalorian videos last year where here I mentioned and that one was basically what it'd be like if Rodriguez got to write a piece of Star Wars content. Well this one is written by Derek Kolstad, one of the alums of John Wick franchise, and how it handles story and action, I will say this, it's exactly what would happen if someone involved in the John Wick series was, and got to who write Marvel Studios content, I mean, I'm not going to go into too much detail about how and why I 13 is back. But if you watch the episode, you'll definitely know what I'm talking about. I mean, since I'm actually I'll admit I'm very intrigued to how how the John Walker Captain America is gonna play in the story. I mean, since even if someone who who is not inherently familiar with that version of the character, or how the show is using him is definitely intriguing to me as with uh, as with his partner who Apparently, it's been in the comics for a very long time, um, but it's definitely nothing to take its own merit since tonally this is very close to both, both, both the Winter Soldier and Civil War, which were one of my favorite installments in the entire franchise, since the Captain America trilogy. Trilogy, since I mean, I don't know about O2. Who subverting the first season of Digimon Adventure, but I definitely will say that when it was Soldier and Civil War, definitely what he did that for Captain America's first Avenger. I mean, since I'm definitely glad it's keeping up that aspect, and it's clear that whatever the Flag Smashers have planned, it's definitely going to be big. And as I pointed out before, I am glad had. They finally find a way to work in and Zemo's comic outfits from the 60s of why making it look more practical for this day and age, especially like the big purple whole hood. I mean, like, why are you wearing that ski mask? Because you're not skiing. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Uh, so, any at any rate, I'm now halfway through this, and I can definitely say I'm enjoying it. I'll definitely. We'll be doing the other half of the course this month. Uh, and that's also why I don't mind that Mortal Kombat reboots got pushed back away because it gives me more time to work on this as well. So, anyway, that's why I'm going to say for now. And if you have seen this episode, let me know what you think about it. And I will definitely see you all again soon. Mm.